we come in? Nigel, is Vicar still here? I have Where no, is he, I, Nigel? Yeah, I don't know where Mr. Vickers is, sir. Uh, then why wouldn't you let us in here? I just meant that I needed to tidy the room. Some things Mr. Vickers left behind. Oh, we got Brit Vickers. <laughs> it wasn't easy, though. He broke one of Ace's favorite decanters. Oh, well, that's a small price to pay. Oh, Paul, he thought Crystal was for sissy. <laughs> I'm sure there's a mess on that. Oh, no, I'll have the staff clean it up, madam. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's glass all over the place, so you're going to want to steer clear of this area. May I fix both of you a drink? Yeah, I think Nora could use one, but I should help Jared with the glass. No, do <laughs> You gotta be kidding me. Oh, doesn't look like I hold the canter. Oh, well, we already got some of it, and, and, and like Nigel said, the staff can clean up the rest. Okay, well, you know what? David's gone. Thank God for that. I don't care how. I'm just glad that he's gone. It's the last thing I needed to deal with on a day like this. Uh, perhaps you'd prefer to retire for the evening. I could send a... Get her up on a Oh, no, thank you, Nigel. I'll, I'll be fine here. I just... I I'm going to call security to find out how Vickers got here in the first place. Why, thank you. Want me to talk to the guy? No, not yet. Who is that guy? He's Shane's father. But maybe they could have their family reunion somewhere else and not at our wedding. I'll talk to Gigi. We're asking. You were going to tell me something. You said it was important. What is it? What's this on your shoulder? That's my rank, Lieutenant. You have a problem with that guy? Indeed I do. But you don't even know him. You want me to leave? A private jet is fueled and ready to take off. What about your daughter? Aren't you worried Gigi's going to screw up the wedding? Sometimes my daughter does not know what's best for her. And you do. You want Gigi to stop that wedding. You don't want your daughter to marry Balsam. That young man and his girlfriend have made a mockery of my daughter's wedding. And I won't allow that. What were you going to say, Gigi? Some of the kids at school call me a bastard. Hey, we're in a church. But now you're here, and no one's ever going to call me that again. Or get away with it. Isn't this great, Mom? I'm sure the three of you have a lot to catch up on, so don't let us keep you. Come on, Mom. I'll show Dad where we live. Gigi. Let them go, Alex. We're ready. Sorry, Father. We'll get through it this time. All right, everyone. Please, be seated. Uh, sir, I believe the shattered decanter held your bourbon. Would you like to take a look at what's under the bar while I refresh Miss Hannon's right. drink? Well, I just only had a sip or two. Well, we wouldn't want you running out when no, you're so distressed. Oh, yeah. God, what's wrong? Well, make sure he doesn't get in here again. Nora? There was just glass on the sofa. There was? Nora, are you okay? Are you cut? No, I don't think so. I said fine. Even the smallest piece could cause damage. Why don't you guys uh, go take a walk or something while we clean the rest of this up? Uh... <clears throat>